Before I start the video, I want to tell you that I opened a new Discord server, so please join it in case anything bad happens to the channel. Also, you can chat in there. Link is in the description. Hello friends and welcome back to another video. So a few days ago we got the new set images for Legacy 2021 and these are official, they are revealed by LEGO and they are official. So I'm going to discuss them and give you my opinion about each one of them. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all we have the Zane Starting Mech. And for the mech, I mean, it looks cool, but I feel like after season 11 with Lloyd's starting mech, I feel like these are getting a bit repetitive. I mean, they are basically making one of these every uh, single wave, pretty much. And we got uh, Lloyd's starting mech, then the Firestone mech, and now this. So, yeah, it's getting a bit repetitive, especially that it looks very similar. I mean, you have the shuriken on the hand and the sword on the other hand. But for the minifigures, we are getting season 5 Legacy Zane, and I really, really like that uh, minifigure. It, ha it has, uh, like, colors of white and black as the main colors, and they work so well. It looks a lot like the original one, but I feel like it's a tiny bit better because the colors are uh, better. And overall, I really like this minifigure. It also has two ghosts, which look cool. And also has season, or not, uh, not season 14, but uh, Golden J. And I really like it. I love the VR mask and the colors are cool. And overall, the idea of having a golden ninja from their uh, from their focus season in a golden suit is a really great idea. So overall, this uh, set is uh, pretty cool, but I feel like it's not really that original or unique, and it's getting a bit repetitive. Uh, next up we have Cole's Bowler Blast and for the set itself I saw a lot of people saying that it looks very similar to the original one and I kind of agree with that I mean I feel like this set uh, didn't really didn't really have to be uh, to have a remake because the original one already looks very cool and didn't really have to uh, have a remake especially that this one doesn't look like a lot better or a lot more different and I feel like they should have remade something else like maybe the DBX or if you want like a call set I mean I don't know maybe uh, like uh, his bike from season 5 or something like that and this set already looks cool so they didn't really have to remake it and for the minifigures we have uh, Legacy, uh, Cole and Lloyd and we also have Izor which I don't really know if he's the new version but he looks cool and you also have uh, Golden Kai which uh, is probably his season 11 suit in Golden and this is probably the best Golden minifigure because red works with gold the best out of the uh, out of all the other color colors the ninja have i really really like this color and it works uh, very well and the suit is pretty cool so overall th this set looks i mean it looks cool this set looks very great but it didn't really have to be remade especially that there are other sets that uh, that should have been remade uh, instead of this one and next up we have the tournament of elements set which is the biggest surprise and also probably my favorite set of this wave i really love the idea of like uh, having a set like this to give us the elemental master that we never got and this set I mean also uh, one of my friends told me that they're probably going to buy like two of these sets and they are going to combine them and to create an arena like for the tournament of elements and this is a really really great idea and will probably work very well and and overall I really like this set I mean the build isn't really its main thing but it's actually the minifigures so you have golden or uh, yeah or yeah you have golden Lloyd which we already covered and it looks great, very good minifigure. And but we also have uh, Legacy Kai and Jay. And we have all the elemental masters that we never got, which are Jacob, the master of sound, Bolobo, the master of nature, and then Gravis, the master of gravity. For Bolobo, it looks the most inaccurate one for the show. I mean, he is pretty much shirtless, and I don't really remember him being shirtless in the show. But other than that, the face and the beard and the hair are very accurate and the legs as well. And the staff looks cool. And you also have Gravis, which uh, which is really great as well. He's very accurate to the show and I really like his minifigure. He also has these things in his hands, which, are, which reminds me of the things Neuro had in his minifigure as well. And you also have Jacob, which has uh, shorter legs and everything is accurate except for the guitar. I mean, his guitar was a lot smaller in this show. But yeah, that's not really a big problem. Overall, overall this is a really, really great set and it's pr probably the best one of this wave and also the biggest surprise. And, I really, and I'm really happy that, they wish, that we finally got all the Elemental Masters. Except for Camille, she's the only Elemental Master at this point that we don't have a minifigure for. And I don't really know why they didn't include her this uh, set. But I don't know, they might like make uh, another uh, minifigure pack for her later this year or something. But yeah, we'll wait and see. 
Next up, we have the X1 Ninja Charger, which is a big surprise as well. I mean, everybody either hate or love this set, and for me, I really, really like it. I mean, it's very different from the original one, but yeah, that's the point of Legacy. It's to make the set a lot better and a lot more different. And I really like this one. Uh, again, it's very different, but that's for the better, of course. And I like the other uh, cars in Ninjago. This this one is very unique, and it's not like yet another car. No, it's very unique because it has like a motorcycle inside of it, and you can like uh, may like divide the car and the motorcycle. And I really really like that idea, and it makes this set a lot more unique. And for the minifigures, we have Kai, J, two Ninjoids, one of them is a normal one, and the other one is Mindroid. You know, Mindroid, the best character of Ninjago, <laughs> but the anyways. And also, I have Golden Call, which is pretty cool, but I feel like the black and gold doesn't, don't really work very well together. I feel like this is probably the weakest golden minifigure, because, I mean, in his season 13 suit, it worked well, because golden wasn't really that... It wasn't really like uh, the whole suit wasn't in gold. It was like a few details, like in here, which is where everything is in gold except for the mask. It has few black details, and I don't really like that. It's not really. It's. N I don't feel like black and gold work very well together, but yeah, it's not uh, really a terrible minifigure. So overall, this one, this set is probably the best one out of the out of the four legacies for the Ninja Charter. The Zayn Stein and Make Jay's Electro Make Cause Boulder Blaster in this set. This one's pr probably my favorite one because it's the uniquest one, and yeah, it's a great set. And lastly, we have the uh, epic battle sets, which are like these mini or these spinner sets. Not really spinners, but yeah, these things for the ninja. And I mean, first of all, the box art. I mean, I don't really like the box art. It feels very childish. I'm not really a big fan of it. They should have done something like the Spinjitsu Slam. But other than that, I love the sets themselves. I mean, the minifigures. Kai's is the weakest one in my opinion. I don't really like the colors and the uh, torso is very not really that great. And I don't like how he's all sleeveless. I mean, Kai's minifigure is the weakest in my opinion. But you all you have Jay's, which is also uh, which is a pretty good minifigure, but probably my th the second weakest one. I like the colors, but I don't know something feels off about this one. Uh, I like how the uh, details go, like from the torso to the legs and from the legs to the torso. That's very cool, and yes, yeah, pretty good minifigure. But Zane's and Cole's will have to be my favorites. I really really love Zane's especially, and it reminds me of uh, Lance from Nixonats. You know Lance, it reminds me of him a lot. And it's a pretty good, cool minifigure. Same thing with Calls. I love how it has a lot of orange. And it works very well with the rest of the suit. And the builds are very weird. I mean, I don't really know what's the point of them. But we'll know more about them when the sets are revealed, pretty much. So, yeah, that's all for today's video. And this is my look at all the legacy sets. Of course, th these aren't all the sets. We still have, like, uh, the Overlord Dragon. And probably the City Gardens or whatever it's called. We still have these two, uh, two sets. And um, and they will probably be released uh, later, but yeah, I don't know. So yeah, overall, this wave I expected it to be much worse. To be honest, I didn't really expect expect much of it. But what we got is really really great, and this will have to be probably my favorite legacy wave ever. Even better than the first one, in my opinion. It's really great, and there are a lot of surprises, like the tournament elements uh, said. And overall, this is a really great uh, wave, and it's a great way to celebrate the tenth anniversary. And yeah, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tell me in the comments what do you think of this video and what do you think of the legacy sets overall. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time.